Good afternoon, everybody. Non-league day 2016, and it wouldn't be non-league day or Manchester indeed without a decent amount of rain, which is exactly what we've got here at Moor Lane. So I don't blame you at all for tuning in today and not coming down. But for those of us who are down, it's a nice rainy night to the rainy afternoon as the teams make their way out onto the pitch. Lynch with the ball over the top. It's um, missed by the Upton defence. Bounces through to Jordan Hume on the left hand side of the box, though. Hume lays it off for Warburton, who's made the overlap. Can he get across? He gets good. Well, no across by Phoenix there in the middle. Who else is it going to be to tap it into the net and give Salford the lead just before 12 minutes gone here at Moor Lane? Salford City 1, out in town 0. It was a good, quick break from Salford. Really quick play. And Warburton on the overlap made a really good run. Hume holding it up for him, letting it go. And there's Phoenix in the middle to tap it in as he rolled it across. But eight games in unbeaten, it's not a bad start for a new team in this league. No, it's a really good start. Um, what I would say is my experience of watching teams in this division is that very few manage to, everyone goes and throw a run where they'll lose three or four in a row. Going forward again now, Warburton sits it to the right hand side. Hume gets it back, Warburton lines up the shot. Okay, Fabian Spice really quick off his line, spread himself. Danger still not clear though. Scott Burton, 30 yards out, goes to low shot, trying to catch Spice out. You never know with this surface if it's going to bounce or slip or who knows what. So have an effort and see what it's going to do. The keeper might spill it. Try and play the ball a little bit more instead of going over the top, but conditions like this, you can't really blame. No, maybe it's just something to do with the weather. Um... You know, the, the, the short pass in tick attacker game is not going to come off on this pitch particularly well, I wouldn't think. So maybe they are just to spread it more as they do on the left hand side here through Phoenix. That was a nice old big tick attacker. Phoenix driving into the area, lays off for Warburton. The edge of the box strikes it just wide of the near post. Open up for Warburton, let it run across his body and saw the opportunity with his right foot. Certainly, when you come out of pre season, and you may have that kind of pre season fitness, but you've not got match fitness, you have to attack really quickly. And uh, some teams sink, swim, and some teams sink, and uh, it's certainly, I think, the play of the Good play by Solford there. Phoenix in on the left hand side, gets his foot stuck in it. Jordan Hume falls to his feet and quite comfortably with an open net slots at home to double Salford City's lead on 21 minutes. Salford City 2 out of town nil. That was absolutely woeful defending from the Reds and Salford played through the middle. Craig King brought it down for Phoenix. Phoenix on the left hand side. Went for the shot himself after creating the space. Didn't quite get the connection he wanted, but as Spice came out to save it, bounced through to Hume. And Hume keeping his card, taking it around his defender, tapping it into the other lead. And Michael Nottingham is going to try and fling this one in with his long throw. So people making the way up, comes towards the near post. Priestley got ahead on it, comes to Simon Grant off the other side of the ball, gets his head to it again. And it's another Simon Grant. That's his third in three games. Not bad for a centre back. Came off the bar, not dealt with by Afton, who weren't dropping off to pick the men up. And there it is, 3 0, third in three for Simon Grant. Well, floodgates have opened, I think. Ever since that second goal, so for them in right on the front foot, looking to get a third, and they've got it. Slightly lucky that, well, Unlucky to hit the bar and then lucky that when he did it, it ricocheted it straight back to him. And the ball bounces through to Jay Lynch at the back of Salford as we enter the last five minutes of the first half here at Moor Lane. Salford City 3, Alfton Town 0. Can't really ask for a better start than that. Salford can forward again. Burton out to the left hand side into O'Halloran, gets it back off him. Charging down, plays it back inside channel. O'Halloran, low cross in. Comes off McGowan, it's going to be a, uh, another corner for Salford. Every possibility here that Sam Walker can get a ball into the box, get some bodies around it. In fact, they go short, so that shows why I know. Go short, Hume gets in, takes a uh, deflected clearance off an Alfton player, bounces to Walker on the edge of the area. He's been forced out by Westcar, but gets it to Walker and Walker to Hume. Hume cuts the side of his man far too easy there. Walker on the edge of the box, left foot shot off the inside of the corner at the upright. Bounces clear for Alfton, danger still not. Completely away though, Salford with a lot of men forwards. Craig King on the right hand side of the box. Cuts in fields, being held up at the moment by Todd Jordan. Jordan wins it and gets it clear eventually for Alfton, only far as Scott Burton. And September won't be an easy ride for Salford, and that's why I think it's really important that they've made such a good start in August because. As much as you don't want to be losing games, you can afford a couple of uh, a couple of bad results when you've had a good start. Uh, ball over the top from Alton cleared by Billy Preece. Down to Scott Burton in the middle. Burton gets it uh, forward again, but it's picked up by Westcar. 
Uh, Matt Walton tries to drill out of trouble, drills it straight into Walton. Here's Bradley with a shot from a long way out for out in town. Very ambitious from there, but they need to do something to try and get themselves back into it. I don't think he was ever really going to test Jay Lynch too much. Takes deflection as it's cleared, but drops quite kindly in the end for Sam Walker, challenging Nile Heaton there, but Salford have the ball. Referee says fair challenges, and it was good to see that he's letting the play go there. Michael Noskum's ball forward, though, doesn't pick out a teammate. No one's really making the run forward for Salford. And it's back with Fabian Spice, who plays it out to Nile Heaton. Wasn't holding back in that header with Sam Walker there. No, really big collision between two two players. That, uh, both of them only had eyes for the ball. Nothing malicious in it at all. And uh, good to see, really, two players. Played on by Jordan Hugh. Phoenix hit holding off the challenge of Heaton. Bearing down on goal, Mike Phoenix. Squares it for Warburton. Warburton chips it round the keeper. Chips it round the post. Spikes it really well to get a hand on that and turn it around. Otherwise, that would have been 4 0 for Salford. That's excellent goalkeeping. Really, really good work from Phoenix to outmuscle the defender and get for on goal. And uh, it took everything Spice had, I think, just to get a fingertip on it and push it away for a corner. Ball forward from uh, Spice goes to the right hand side. Sam Walker gets it down and first touch for Mr. Wellings inside his own half. Plays it uh, back to Sam Walker after a little half turn. And Simon Grant's getting it clear out to the left hand side. Picked up by O'Halloran playing it into Jordan Hume. O'Halloran continues his run. Hume checks back in field and does well to get a foot on that back to Wellens. Wellens into Warburton. Warburton back to King. He's playing a much more central role than he probably likes to at the moment. But he gets it back. Spreads to play out to his right hand side to Michael Nottingham. Warburton's made the run forward. Nottingham charges into space though. Holding off at the moment. Thomas Allen going towards the byline. Still holds him off and plays it back this time too. Warburton is there for support into Wellens on the corner of the box. Feeds through. Nottingham on the byline. Nottingham gets the ball across. Warburton with the touch. Warburton with the goal. Really lovely football from Salford City there. Nottingham making the run. Settled that up with his strength. And that final decisive ball rolled in towards the four post. And Warburton was there just a side foot to in pass. Fabian Spice. Salford City 4. Out of town. Nil. One bat by Monkhouse up against his former teammate from Harleypool, James Poole. Good challenge by uh, Richie Wellens in the middle. First time he's really got stuck in to win the ball back off uh, Dan Bradley there. It's picked up by Mike Phoenix on this near side, playing a bat to Poole and Poole being held up at the moment again by Monkhouse, but really good beat to beat him. Not got his headband on today, James Poole, and uh, plays ball into the feet of Mike Phoenix on the right hand side now gets the ball across Rich Allen at the back post two yards out he got a touch to it but fortunately for him it's only touch take it wide to the far post and not to get just aside ever so close again to being a fifth for Salford all over the top so, um, flag is up against Mike Phoenix uh, challenge on Thomas Allen wasn't anything malicious, just a little bit of tugging here and there. And Alfredson had the ball back. McGowan on the halfway line crosses the ball towards the left hand side. Nottingham's header only comes to Frost Westgar though on the corner of the box. Into the box now Westgar puts a good ball across towards the back post. And there's the clean sheet gone. Very muted in a pause as uh, Sam Smith tucks it in at the far side at the back post. Really good cross from Craig Westcar and Smith just drifted in to tap it in. 4 1. Yeah, excellent goal in the end from Alfredson. Maybe a little bit of a commentator's curse from us, talking about Jay Lynch's clean sheet. Nine minutes to go here at Moor Lane, Salford City 4, Alfredson Town 1. Uh, Sport clearance by Heaton. Picked up in the middle by Wellens. Wellens to Paul. Paul going back inside of his man. Spread the place to the left hand side, inviting Sam Walker to move up from midfield to come and collect it. Walker into King. Um, King turns it inside of his man gets it to pull a lot of space here 35 yards out goes to the shot Spice couldn't hold on to it parries it into Richie Allen Allen now on the left side gets it to O'Halloran charged into the box tries to go through the middle of two men never going to get through there and Alton can get it clear really good effort from James Poole but here come Alton forward Sam Smith trying to get it around Billy Priestley Priestley gets his body in the way and bats Jay Lynch and Lynch with that clearance out to the left hand side brings it out to this right hand side but tracking back his pool Paul gets it to O'Halloran who splits the play delightfully to the far side to Sam Walker but heavy touch takes it past high boot pass from Ryan Wilson as Walker stooped to get that one but balls down through the middle for Priestley gets it past Jay Lynch uh, gets it past Jay Lynch could be in trouble here he's gone down 
after the challenge, though, Jay Lynch holding his ankle. Referee's giving the free kick. And be interested to see what he does here. Um, and it must have been the absolute slightest of touches. It's going to be a yellow card, just good to see. And he's uh, ready to have this one taken. Westgar, right foot, strikes it, it's a good one. But he drags it wide of uh, Jay Lynch's right hand post. And it goes out for a goal kick to Salford City after all that build up. Al Celeste on side to Stephen O'Halloran. It's Paul Battle O'Halloran. Salford just winding down the clock here, seeing out the minutes. Wellens plays one two with Paul back to him. Referee blows four time whistle, and it's another three points for Salford City, who go top of the National League North after a four one win against Alfton Town.